Hey, Shalom, brothers. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatham. I want to first say all praises and glories and honor. All praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, my elders. Much love to all you brethren out there, man. All right. Another day. This is what? August, sec August 2nd, 2023. Another day in Babylon the Great. I'm going to do a quick video here. You know, Lord willing, is through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I pray that the brethren are edified through the spirit, through the grace of the Lord. All right. I'm going to start here. Give me one minute. <coughs> This is Psalm 72 and 1. All right. Psalm 72 and 1. It says, give the king thy judgment. Right. And I believe this is a Psalms um, through King David. Right. And this represents all. This represents all the all the elect of the nation of Israel. Because the Lord is only dealing with his elect of the nation of Israel. And who's the nation of Israel, in case you don't know? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And those, of, and those of our peoples that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right? And the Israelites are the only people that the one who you ignorantly call God, the one who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, are dealing with. Right? Matter of fact, I say the one who you ignorantly call God because his true name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh, and his son, which is our deliverer, the one that's going to deliver us out of this hell hole, out of the so out of the so-called white man's clutches, namely their elites on down, right, of the so-called white race, which, by the way, they're known as the Edomites in the Bible, <coughs> the one who's going to deliver us from their clutches is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. And guess what? They are black, all right? They're not honkies, all right? Our Lord and Savior does not need to put sunblock on his skin to protect, him from the, to protect himself from the rays of the sun, all right? He's not inferior. And, he created, and his people he's dealing with are you so-called Negroes, you Latinos and you Native Americans, man. All right? And we're living in the time of the fall of our enemies. We're living in beautiful times. And for that, we say, Brekatha Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. What I did loosely, I, I loosely, what I loosely just did so you can understand was praise the name of the Lord and his son. Okay? That's what I was just doing. So be that I made a statement just now. I'm just going to prove that statement real quick. I made a statement that the Lord is only dealing with Israel. And the one who you call, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shai, died on the cross only for Israel, starting with the elect of Israel, but ultimately all of Israel. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. This is um, Amos 3 and 1. It says, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, mainly of North, Central, and South America, of Negro and Indian descent. You are the children of Israel. It says, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. <coughs> when you read that history in the Bible about the Israelites that were saved out of the land of Egypt, that was our ancestors, not the so-called white man who calls himself Jewish. That's not his ancestors. Those are our ancestors, man. Okay? And the Lord has brought us to remembrance, starting with the elect of Israel. The Lord is calling back 
his elect, you know, those that sigh and that cry, those of our people that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. And then when you look around, we're little man, we we are in we are in the toilet bowl right now when it comes to wickedness under the so-called white man. He's the one that's allowing gays to get married. He's the one that tells you that you cannot say if you have a if you have a um a male child, you can't tell your male child that he's a male. If your child comes up and says, Look, I'm a female, you're supposed to respect that. Only the devil and Satan would allow that. Only the devil and Satan would allow um, same-sex marriage. Only the devil and Satan give your woman all cut all power over you. That's what the devil and Satan will do. Only, and, and the devil and Satan destroyed our people. All right? Slavery. Right now, I think the state of Florida, under the Governor DeSantis, now they're saying that um, basically you so-called blacks here in America, which, by the way, the African-Americans here in America, you go back to the tribe of Judah, the head tribe of the nation of Israel. You are the Judites. You are the Jews, man. But now we're in a time now where this devil is telling you that basically you should you should appreciate the fact that we were brought, that we were brought here on cargo slave ships and had to serve in rigor here. Look up that word rigor. We had to serve rigor here in America all the way till this day. So basically he's saying that you should be happy about that because had not been for the fact that you served slavery here, we you would not know nothing about um different crafts or different trades. All right. That's a box in the face if you ask me. All right. But nobody's outraged over that shit. Y'all just let these devils do what the hell they want. Because you know what, man? Our people, for the most part, are in deep sleep. Right? Deep sleep. And the Lord did that. But this devil basically is trying to erase the fact that you were brought here on cargo slave ships. All right? Because he knows that he has but a short time. But anyway, back in the scripture, it says, Amos 3 and 1, it says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known. The Lord only knows Israel. That never changed. That never changed, man. It says, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. And how has the Lord punished us? By having this devil over us. The so-called white man rule over us. All right. Have us living, living right now. Right now, um, according to the Bible, the Lord looks at all the other nations outside of Israel. The Lord looks at all the other nations as a drop of the bucket. But right now, it seems like our people are the drop of the bucket. Nobody gives a fuck about our people. And that's a part of the curses. Going back to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, where the Lord says, no nation shall save us, meaning nobody shall buy you or no one shall save you, right? All they're doing is licking our wounds and keeping us down. Keeping us down, man. And these nations, the so-called white men and the other nations, they really believe that we as a people are going to be extinct real soon because, you know, Nothing good comes out of Negroes, all right? And closely behind us, you got the Latinos and Native Americans. And I'm going to say this, man. You Latinos and Native Americans, I know a lot of y'all hate Negroes. And, 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 and the other way around, too. You got Negroes hate Latinos and Native We're one family, all right? And the only ones that's going to wake up out of that bullshit are the ones who the Lord is calling back into the fold to do, the, to do what, what we're doing, pushing this word teaching his word the not the knowledge wisdom and understanding the lord is bringing back all the tribes through this word the rest of our people are going to be missile food a lot of y'all going to be used for the war because there is going to be a race war class war nation war here in america and you see this you, you see it happen you, you see it coming man you see it coming all these prophecies 
right? Like one of the prophecies about Egypt coming up against Egypt, which Egypt represents America. Modern day Egypt represents America. And you see more and more, you see more and more that this place, America, the United States, right? And, 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 and around the world is nothing but division. But mainly here in America, you see division, total division. You see the seasonings of civil war. And who's bringing this? The Heavenly Father's bringing this. Because he's, get, he's getting ready to destroy this place, man. So the Lord punished us. That's why we're on the bottom. That's why wherever, whatever neighborhood we moved to, the neighborhood might have been somewhat a nice neighborhood. But then when a bunch of blacks and Latinos move into that neighborhood, it becomes a disaster area. That's the curses, man. But see, the good news is that the Lord is going to lift those curses off of us and put it upon our enemies, the so-called white man and the other nations. That's the good news. That is the good news, man. So I'm going to go back to um, Psalm 72. So the Lord's only dealing with the nation of Israel, man. And then this is the good news. And only, only the elect is going to hear the word and get pumped up by the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is um so Psalm 72 and 1. It says, Give the king thy judgment, O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. And where do you find the righteousness and the righteous judgments of the Heavenly Father? Right here in the Bible. And this Bible is our book. This book, this Bible is not the so-called white man's book. It's not the so-called Chinese book, the Japanese, the East Indians, the natural Hemetic Africans. This is not their book. Not the Arabs, all right? The Arabian peoples. This is not their book. This is our book. It says, he shall judge thy people with righteousness and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people. That's all the other nations. They're going to bring peace to us. This is in the kingdom of heaven, man. And the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people. What people? Israel. He shall save the children of the needy. We're the children of the needy, all right? And shall break in pieces the oppressor. Who's the oppressor? Last time I checked, it's Whitey. Esau, Edom. He's the oppressor. So the Lord is getting ready to break in pieces the oppressor. And for that, we say, and we're living in that time, man. And it's beautiful, man. You got these peon crackers, but boy, they, they be talking buku shit. I was um looking at the article. I guess over there in South Africa, they're about to go into some straight up civil war shit. I guess they're trying to kick out Whitey. Which is all prophetic because all these nations are coming up against the so-called white men, man. Right? But when I read the article, and when you pan down, matter of fact, I'm gonna do another show, Lord willing, I'll bring up some of them. Just to just to go into those comments from you so-called from the so-called white people, mainly you peons. But hey, a lot of y'all might be a part of the elite crew too. But y'all up in there talking shit. Oh, oh, yeah. The whites, yeah, they should just leave that shit hole. Look what's gonna happen now. Hey, the, the world needs us. If we leave, they're gonna go into they're gonna turn into shit. They need us. You know, without us, this world wouldn't this and this. look, man, without you, <laughs> wickedness, all right. Without you, wickedness will cease. All right? You really believe... See, the so-called white man really believes he's God. And the world needs him. Now he's finding out now that the world don't need him. And the Lord is about to flush you out of your rulership. We're living in that time now, man. Well, I'm reading it right here. I'll read it again. This is Psalm 72 and 4. He shall judge the poor of the people... He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure. Because when we rule with Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, we're going to rule forever. That rulership through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the nation of Israel, 
that rulership is going to be forever. The Lord created the sun and the moon to be there forever. So as long as there's sun and there's a moon, and, then, and don't believe that bullshit by the so that's why the, the so-called white man gotta go, man. They teach that bullshit that one day the sun is gonna blow out and the moon is gonna drop out. All this bullshit. Or the, the moon is gonna crash into the earth. And you know, you know, because he's the master of disaster. If he had his way, if he had that power to do it, he'll do just that. Destroy the sun and the moon. Cause he's the master of disaster. You don't believe me? Watch that movie Oppenheimer. That movie on a small level shows you that this devil is a master of disaster. But then when you look at it spiritually, the Lord put that in his spirit to do that. The Lord created the, this devil to be destructive. That's in the scriptures. He created him to be the, the, the demon that he is. It says, they shall fear thee as long as the sun and the moon endure throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, as shower that watereth the earth. In his days shall the righteous flourish. We're going to flourish. Right now we're not flourishing. All right. You got you got those of our people, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You strive to flourish in this wicked setup. This ain't our time to flourish. And what in and, and this present world, flourishing means being wicked. Being a homosexual, being into bestiality. Right now, that 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 right now that abomination, um, Lizzo, I guess they're suing her ass because she made her dancers, um, I guess she made her dancers stick bananas up some prostitutes' ass or what, and wanted them to eat it. Some gross, sick, demonic shit, which she represents Satan. All right. Yeah, she's a so-called, and, and, and she and she represents the modern-day black woman, man. She's a total demon. But she's so-called flourishing in this present world. You got to be like her to flourish in this world. You got to be a total, you got to be, you, you have to be initiated into the house of Satan to make it in this world. But in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to flourish in righteousness, man. That's what I'm reading right here. An abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. So as long as there's the sun and the moon, we're going to be flourishing through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He shall have dominion over He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before the him. All these nations are going to bow before us. And his enemies shall lick the dust. Our Who's our enemy? The so-called white man. And I'm going to say this. A lot of you Negroes and Latinos don't think the so-called white man is your enemy. You're going to find out in the worst, worst way. Because we're living in it. We are living in the days of blood. And who's bringing this? The Heavenly Father is bringing this. You're not even checking out. You're not even checking the temperature out here right now, man. Therefore, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. But our enemies are going to lick the dust, lick the dust off our feet, man. The king of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring presents. And this links up with our Isaiah, the 60th chapter. How these nations are going to bring us all their, all the riches. Basically, all the riches that these nations are going to bring to us are the riches they stole from us in the first place. And they're going to vomit it down. Well, Esau, the so-called white man, is going to vomit it. But all these nations are going to bring us gifts. The kings of Sheba and Saba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. And they're going to fall down before who? Yahweh Shai. All nations, all nations shall serve him. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And he shall deliver the needy when he crieth. And we're crying unto the Lord even now. We cry to the Lord in our sleep. How long? We pray to the Lord to destroy Babylon the Great which is the United States, and the Lord's going to do that. He's going to, de he's going to destroy the so-called white man and his Babylon the Great and whatever power hold he has throughout the world. The poor also and him that hath no helper. Yeah, come on, we have no helper. He 
He and our only help is through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He shall spare the poor and needy, and shall save the souls of the needy. How is he going to do that when the missiles come? When that total destruction comes, only the elect are going to be saved out of here. They won't get caught up in this lake of fire, which America is that lake of fire, according to the Bible. He shall redeem their soul from, from deceit and violence. What's all around us here in America? Wherever you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans live, deceit and violence. And who's bringing this? The so-called white man. He's the one that finances all these gangs. He's the one that brings all the drugs and guns into your community. All right. It says. And precious shall their blood be in his sight. So when Lord, when, when all this blood is being poured out here, it's going to be precious in the heavenly father's sight. And a lot of y'all people say y'all know God. I don't know what God you think you know. And he shall live. And to him shall be given of the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually. And daily shall he be praised. For water. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. What's his name? His father's name is Yahweh. The son's name is Yahweh Shai. And the whole world's going to know this. His name shall endure forever. And they're never going to forget it. His name shall be continued as long as the sun and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Because in the kingdom of heaven, all the nations are going to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There's not going to be no freedom of religion in the kingdom. Any other nation that want to call upon another deity, they're going to be dealt with. They that refuse to um, serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're not going to get any rain. They're going to die out of starvation and thirst. That's how it's going to go down, man. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the power of Israel. Who only doeth wonderful works and blessings and blessings be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Aman and Aman. All right, Tawab, Tawab. And prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. Hey, with that, man, I pray you, brethren, are pumped in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Stay strong in the Lord and let's move. Let's, let's keep it moving. Shalom.